Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today. Starting off on this one day time frame, because what do we see today? We see a massive dump to the downside. And hopefully you watched yesterday's video because I was saying I was patiently waiting to see how this was going to play out here. And of course, today we saw this pump to the upside. And then when we came back down to actually retest this trend line as a level of support, we did not manage to hold it so far on this one day time frame. So the key price level to pay attention to is about 68,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price. However, what I keep seeing here is that the entire crypto community flips bullish or bearish too early. Because if you have been watching my videos for the past couple months, you know that right here I was reserving my judgment saying I'm waiting for an actual retest and blasting off from there. And of course, we didn't hold this as a level of support. In fact, we got a massive dump to the downside. So we sold a bunch of our bags right here and then we're bearish all the way on this move to the downside. And then again here, when we were potentially losing this as a level of support, I was again saying I am reserving my judgment until we actually lose this as a level of support on the daily time frame. And then we actually held it on the daily time frame. So we caught this entire move to the upside so far. Now, what do we see today? We have the exact same thing all over again. People flipping extremely bullish, expecting a move like this before the breakout is actually confirmed. They buy into this pump and now they're down on that trade. So with regards to this breakout, let's talk about what we should be looking for if we actually want to confirm this breakout. One of the things is getting a confirmed daily candle close above this descending line of resistance. The second thing is seeing a spike in volume, which in this case we did not. We got this daily candle close on top of the line and we had very low volume on that day. So this was also making me a little bit suspicious. And then the third thing to look for is actually if we get a breakout, a retest back down of that same trend line and then get a bounce off of there. That is the third way to confirm a breakout. And the less confirmation signals you have, the more risk you are taking on. Now, if you want to learn more about technical analysis and actually avoid some of these mistakes in the future, especially if you lost money here, then just go check out rt1m.com because right here I have a free trading course where I explain all the fundamentals of technical analysis for crypto trading. And again, you can get access to the entire full course completely for free. You can find the link to this in the video description. So go check that out. Either way, if you do end up joining or not, let's continue with the Bitcoin analysis here and take a look at some support and resistance levels. So on this four hour time frame, you can see that we closed this last four hour candle on this 68K level. And currently, as of the time of recording, we are below the 68K level as well. However, as I said earlier, this candle has not closed yet. And therefore, there is no confirmation that we have actually lost this as a level of support, although it is looking quite likely. Now, in terms of Fibonacci support to the downside, we have this Fibonacci golden pocket right here between the 0.65 level and the 0.618 level, sitting from about 65.5K all the way down to 64.8K. So this is potentially an area of interest to pay attention to what happens around the price action around this level if this pullback actually continues here, because this could act as a level of support. And therefore, you should be paying attention to this if you are in a short trade right now. Besides that, taking a look at the bigger support and resistance levels for Bitcoin, you can see right here that we got a perfect rejection from this big level of resistance that I talked about in yesterday's video, which is sitting from 68.5K all the way up to 70,000 US dollars. And as far as support goes to the downside, we have this big level of support right here from 66,000 all the way down to 65,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price. Now let's talk about what is happening next here for the Bitcoin price in terms of momentum. Is it going to be bullish? Is it going to be bearish? Right here, you just have this simple ascending trend line. And I think that if we lose this trend line as a level of support on the daily time frame, which means getting a confirmed daily candle close below this level, I think likely we are going to see more bearish momentum after that. So the key level to pay attention to for today is going to be 66.3K because closing that daily candle below again would likely have some bearish implications. But I would apply the same fundamentals here of taking a look at the volume indicator, 
taking a look at that candle close and potentially even looking for a retest before confirming that downtrend. This is something that I'm paying attention to for Bitcoin as well on this higher time frame. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map. Obviously right here, there's going to be a lot of liquidity now because people are shorting this move to the downside. But this big level of liquidity is sitting at about 70.3K. And besides that, we just took out a big pocket of liquidity at about 66.4K which is an interesting thing to see. Potentially this could already be that bounce and it would also be aligned with this ascending trend line as some confluence. But again, I'm not making any conclusions that we are holding this as a level of support. I'm just going to see how it actually plays out and continue to basically just trade on the lower timeframes here. Either way, so we just took out this big level of liquidity and as far as liquidity goes to the downside, we have this big level of liquidity right here at about 63.5K. So this is also a level to pay attention to. If we lose that support at 65,000 US dollars that I was talking about earlier. So if we lose this big level of support right here, then likely we will be taking out that liquidity to the downside at about 63K. Now taking a look at the three month time frame for these liquidation heat maps. There is still a lot of liquidity sitting at about 72.3K. And yes, I will continue to say this, guys. I think that at some point we are going to take out this big level of liquidity right here at some point during this bull run. And yes, even though we got this pullback right here, I do not think that the bull run is now over. So as always, guys, make sure to manage your risk. And if you cannot handle a larger pullback here, then consider taking some profits because we literally just had this massive pump to the upside. And if you were following my channel, you basically got this 23% move to the upside. So at some point you would have to take some profits and it won't make a big difference if it's 27% if you sold at the top or if you just sell it straight away at 21%. But of course, that is not financial advice. It is just my personal take on it and how I look at the markets personally. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. And if you enjoyed it, please make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Besides that, make sure to join the Road to 1 Million community on Discord. It is again, completely free, same as the free trading course. And you can find both of these links in the video description. This has been today's market update. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.